Members of the community, General Assembly, and representatives from partner agencies joined together under tents and umbrellas, braving the worst of a passing storm to honor the bravery of the fallen officer. Not only was he an exceptional officer who never wavered in his duties, he was the epitome of a public servant. Department of Correction Commissioner Perry Phelps remembered when he first met Floyd, the young union representative who was an outspoken advocate for those he believed were being treated unfairly. He cared about giving people a voice, standing up for what's right, and seeing things through until the end. One year later, everyone hopes the events that transpired February 1, 2017 will lead to a stronger DOC, sparing the lives of others in the process. As we pause from our daily routines to reflect, it is my hope that in the past 12 months that we have become a stronger, more unified agency, community, and state. Governor Carney took to the podium to assure onlookers that the work to ensure the safety of these correctional officers continues. It wasn't until Lieutenant Floyd's death that the rest of us truly understood what it meant to be a correctional officer. I hope you know that we hear you, we're with you, we have your back, and we're doing what we can to support you. The climax of the ceremony was this, the unveiling of this plaque ensuring the memory of Lieutenant Stephen Floyd Sr. lives on forever. And remember, one family, one team. Brandon Bossert, 47 ABC.